Hello pilots, Judge Rekt speaking to you and I will teach you how to use Monarch. Monarch is unique, she is the only Titan that can level up during battle, making her weaker than others at first, but stronger than any other Titan if kept alive for too long. With the ability to also gain shields via energy siphon and a strong hit skin weapon, she is a top tier pick like Ion, at max level even better. She can also fire an unguided swarm of rockets and reset her cooldowns with rearm. Her ultimate ability gives her maximum shields and she gains a new perk. The perks she can get are pre selected by the player in the loadout menu, let's take a look at them. For upgrade stage 1, you can select arc rounds, giving her increased damage against shields and more ammo capacity. Missile rounds gives her rocket salvo double the amount of missiles, and with energy transfer she can hit friendly titans with energy siphon, giving them shields turning monarch into a support class titan. At stage 2 you can select one of the next 3 perks, there is rearm and reload, reducing her reload speed and cooldown for the rearm ability, maelstrom increases her electric smoke damage big time, and energy field giving her energy siphon and AoE effect at the point of impact. At stage 3 you are going to get access to her most powerful perks. There's multi-target missile system, Titanfall 1 players will know this one. You hold down the button, aim at enemies while getting locks and then release to fire a guided swarm of missiles. This skill replaces the unguided rocket salvo and also increases the rocket's damage. Superior chassis increases Monarch's maximum health and removes any critical hit spots. Accelerator increases the damage of the XO16 even further and also increases its fire rate, but adding a bit of a slow fire rate for the first couple of shots. So the longer you fire, the faster the fire rate will be. Before I jump into the different builds, let's take a look at the standard perks. Shield Amplify increases energy size and shield gain, good if you play a support build, but other than that not recommended, the gain is simply too little. Energy Thief might be Monarch's best perk, you earn core 10% faster and every titan execution will give you a battery which also increases shields and core meter. You want to get to the next stage as fast as possible and this perk will bring you there. Survival of the fittest will give you the ability to repair out of doomed state with a battery. This is a huge deal, only Monarch is able to do this in the game. Rapid rearm reduces your rearm abilities cooldown, not worth in my opinion. Monarch can generally be built in a lot of different ways but I think Energy Thief steals the show here, it is simply too effective to not use it. Moving on to Titan perks, we have our trash one, Stealth Auto Eject and Assault Ship. Nuke Eject is also not worth it, because enemies can just walk away from the blast. Monarch gets a charge of electric smoke every level, so you don't need more of it. Dash is nice to have, but there is one perk that makes more sense than any other here, and this is Overcore, you want to level up fast. This perk in combination with Energy Thief from the Monarch perks will turn you into a crazy leveling machine, so use it. For builds we have the Try Hard build, including Arc Rounds, Rearm and Reload, and accelerator. You hold down forward and fire and will kill anything in your path and melt through enemy titans health bars like a hot knife through butter. If you want to play a bit more like Tone and use indirect fire to damage enemies around cover, go for missile rounds, maelstrom and multi-target missile system. It's a very fun build to play but not as effective as a tryhard build. Then we have the support build, use energy transfer, energy field and for staying alive and being more tanky superior chassis. With this build you support friendly titans with shields. General strategy with Monarch is that you want to form easy targets like pilots with your hitskin weapon in the early stages and get some hits on titans, but you are very weak after the drop, so get those levels quickly and focus on leveling up first. Upon reaching stage 2 you can start to be more aggressive against enemy titans and at stage 3 you become a powerhouse that is basically unstoppable, if not focused down by multiple enemies. That's it for my quick monarch guide, if you want to share your builds please do in the comment section, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more titanfall and first person shooter content and see you on the frontier pilots.